Hi friends! If you are a newly engaged bride or groom, you have probably found yourself in the market of research. You're reading every single blog post, finding every single tip and trick you can find, and just drinking it all up. It's a super exciting time, so why not go all in and find out absolutely everything you can about planning a wedding and hiring an amazing team of vendors to help you along the way. If you are in the market of finding a wedding photographer, I'm confident that you have stumbled across one of the lists in your research. You probably know what kind of list I'm talking about. The ones titled, Things You Must Ask Your Wedding Photographer. Those lists. Let me help you out a little bit by answering a few of those questions here for you now. Alright, so one of the first questions I typically get asked is how long have you been a wedding photographer? And the answer to that is a really long time. <laughs> I photographed my very first wedding in November of 2009. It was a wedding that was planned for late in the evening, so everything was after sunset and I was absolutely terrified. But I walked away from that wedding super excited and completely obsessed with photographing weddings. Since then, it has been over 10 years and I have photographed over 100 weddings in those 10 years. Another question that wedding websites will encourage you to ask your photographer is what is your photography style? So summed up in three words, I like to describe my photography style as classic, bright, and happy. There are a lot of fads out there when it comes to photography and my goal as a wedding photographer is to avoid all of them. The last thing I want is for my images to have this weird 2020 date stamped on them simply because of the post-processing I applied to the image. My goal is for your images to look like what your eyes actually see. So that means green greens, blue blues, and creamy skin tones. I strive for a mix of posed photos and candids that truly tell the story of who a couple is. Are they quirky and fun? Are they romantic and reserved? No matter what, I want my images to tell the true story of who a couple is. So what kind of equipment do I have and do I bring backup gear along with me on a wedding day? So unless you're into photography, me sitting here and listing off all the gear that I own would probably sound like I'm speaking in another language. That being said, my main camera body is a Canon 5D Mark III, and I literally bring an entire suitcase and several bags of lenses, flashes, light stands, umbrellas, and what feels like the whole kitchen sink, oh, and definitely backup gear, to every single wedding I photograph. One of my favorite questions to be asked is will you actually be the photographer showing up to photograph my wedding? And the answer to that is emphatically yes. Kara Abbey Photography is owned and operated by one person, me. <laughs> In other words, I'm not a big company and I will never sell the responsibilities of your wedding photography to someone else. You can rest assured when you hire me as your wedding photographer that you're receiving a personalized and unique experience. When you call me or text me or email me, I am the person answering those messages. 
I write all my own blog posts. I hand edit all of my images. You can rest assured that absolutely everything is running through me. Another common question I receive is, do you follow a shot list? A lot of wedding websites will suggest that you, as the bride and groom, give your photographer a list of photos that you want taken. This might sound like good advice, but I can assure you that after photographing more than 100 wedding days and being a photographer for more than 10 years, I know the main events and the flow of every wedding day. They all pretty much go the same. That being said, I already know all of the photos that need to be taken. Now, I will ask, and we do work together, to compile a list of family photos. That way we are sure that we're all on the same page and you can rest assured that we got a photo with you and grandma. I additionally always ask my couples if there's anything unique or out of the ordinary happening on the wedding day. Otherwise, I'm there for most of the day and I just go with the flow and I keep on shooting. So we'll tie this all off with asking the question, what is my favorite part of a wedding day? Which this is a really fun question. So my favorite part of a wedding day is the beginning. There's something magical about arriving in a bridal suite, hugging a sweet friend who is just hours away from getting married, and experiencing all that excitement and emotion and celebration that is preparing for a wedding. No, wait, wait, wait. Um, my favorite part of a wedding day is standing at the front of the aisle next to the groom as he waits in anticipation for the ceremony to begin. The music swells, the bridesmaids proceed in, and that moment of anticipation is simply magical. The doors swing open and then in comes the most beautiful woman in the entire world. That is one of my favorite moments of a wedding day. No, okay, wait. Um, my favorite moment has to be hearing that roar of applause and excitement as the DJ announces for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. and the new husband and wife walk into their reception to this thunderous applause and cheering from all of their family and friends. I guess nailing down just one moment on a wedding day is a little bit too hard for me because I love wedding days. Okay, there are a lot of other questions that are on those lists. I would highly encourage you to browse around my website, read some of my blogs, and you will find more answers to your questions. Ultimately though, I would be thrilled to grab a cup of coffee with you in person so we can sit down and chat and I can answer every single one of your questions, whether they originated from one of those lists or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. I can't wait to chat more with you soon.